comma y dash in the first bit this is what we are doing equal to 4 comma 5 now we know x dash y dash h comma k we have to find out x comma y so i'll say x equal to x dash plus h that is equal to 4 plus h that's equal to 2 which is equal to 6 similarly y equal to y dash plus k y dash equal to 5 plus k equal to 3 5 plus 3 equal to 8 so x comma y is 6 comma 8 so the original coordinates are 6 comma 8 but when the origin is shifted to 2 comma 3 they became 4 comma 5 so let's do one more the next bit we will do again h comma k is 2 comma 3 x dash comma y dash is equal to minus 4 comma 3 again the formula is the same x equal to x dash plus h that's equal to minus 4 plus 2 which is equal to minus 2 y equal to y dash plus k which is 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6 therefore the original coordinates before shifting the origin are minus 2 comma 6 you can try the third one let's go to the third question third one find the point to which the origin is should to be shifted so that the point 3 comma 0 may change to 2 comma minus 3 so 3 comma 0 is x comma y 2 comma minus 3 is x dash y dash we have to find out h comma k so let's go ahead and write down whatever we know we can write down x comma y is 3 comma 0 and x dash comma y dash is equal to 2 comma minus 3 we know the formula the formula remains the same now i can say x dash equal to x minus h or h equal to x minus x dash x is 3 x dash is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 Similarly, k equal to y minus y dash, y equal to 0, y dash is minus of 3, 0 minus of minus 3 is 3. Therefore, h comma k is 1 comma 3. Let's do some more problems. Now, till now we have looked into points. Now, let's understand, suppose there is an equation and the equation of a curve and when the origin is shifted from 0, 0 to another point, how the equation of the curve will change? We do a couple of examples on that. Let us look at this example. When the origin is shifted to minus 1, comma 2, that is h, comma k is minus 1, comma 2, by the translation of axis, find the transformed equations of the following. So, this is the equation of the curve when the origin is at 0 comma 0 now the origin is shifted to minus 1 comma 2 we have to find out what is the new equation of the curve transformed equation of the curve with respect to the new coordinate axis so let's go ahead the first thing we will write down is what is h comma k h comma k is equal to minus 1 comma 2 the equation we have been given is in terms of x and y. We know that x equal to x dash plus h. We also know y equal to y dash plus k. We will write down x equal to x dash plus h that is minus 1 comma y equal to y dash plus k that is equal to 2. Now what we will do in place of x and y we substitute x dash minus 1 and y dash plus 2 and try to find out how this equation will change so once we got in terms of x dash y dash at the end we will remove the dash so that that will be the transformed equation with respect to the new coordinate axis so let's go ahead and do that 
Thus, first we will write down what is given to us. x square plus y square plus 2x minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. x is x dash minus 1. So, I can write down x dash minus 1 whole square plus y equal to y dash plus 2. Can I say y dash plus 2 whole square? Plus 2 into x is x dash minus 1 minus 4 into y, y equal to y dash plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 0. A simple algebra, a minus b whole square, so I can say x dash whole square minus 2x dash plus 1 plus y dash whole square plus 2ab 4y dash then plus 4 plus 2x dash minus 2 minus 4y dash minus 8 plus 1 equal to 0. We simplify, we will get x dash square, this part is over, then we have y dash square, this is over, then we have x terms, minus 2x plus 2x will cancel, oh maybe you think that I am cancelling them out, no I don't want to cancel them, I actually just want to say that that part is over, ok, x dash square plus y dash square minus 2x dash and plus 2x dash will cancel. Then I have 4y dash minus 4y dash. So, they both will cancel. Coming to the numbers, I have 1 plus 4, 5. 5 minus 2, 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 minus 8 is minus 4. So, I can write it as minus 4. Oops. So, let me just make it as minus 4 equal to 0. Now, we got x dash square plus y dash square minus 4 equal to 0. But with respect to the new axis, it is nothing but x square plus y square minus 4 equal to 0. So, the equation of the curve x square plus y square 2 plus 2x minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0 when the origin is at 0, 0, when it shifted to minus 1 comma 2, origin is shifted to mi minus 1 comma 2, the equation will transform to x square plus y square minus 4 equal to 0. You can try the second bit in the similar lines. We will go to the fifth question, first bit. Let us look at this question, the fifth question. The point to which the origin is shifted and the origin and the transformed equation are given below. The point to which the origin is shifted h comma k and the transformed equations are given below. That is nothing but this equation is in x dash and y dash because it is a transformed equation. We have to find out the original equation. So, what we will do now? First, we will write down what is given to us h comma k is equal to 3 comma minus 4 we also have been given x square plus y square equal to 4 with respect to the new coordinate axis. That means, according to us, it is x dash square plus y dash square equal to 4. Now, what is the relation between x dash and x? We know that x dash equal to x minus h. Similarly, y dash is equal to y minus k. Now, x minus h that is x minus 3, y dash equal to y minus of minus 4 which is equal to y plus 4. What we will do now? In place of x dash y dash, we will substitute x minus 3 and y plus 4. So, let us go ahead. x dash equal to x minus 3. So, can I go ahead and write down x minus 3 whole square plus y dash is y plus 4. So, y plus 4 whole square is equal to 4. Just simplify that, we will have x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 8y plus 16 is equal minus 4 equal to 0. Simplify that, put them in the order according to the odd, according to the powers x square plus y square. We have minus 6x plus 8y, the 9 plus 16 is 25, 25 minus 4 is 21, so plus 21 equal to 0. So, that is how you can do the fifth question first bit where we have been given h comma k. We have been given h comma k. We have been given the transformed equation. That means, remember we will convert that into x dash whole square plus y dash whole square. 
because we want the original equation. So second bit you can try. Let's go to the sixth bit and the final bit. Find the point to which the origin is, shift, is to be shifted. So it has to remove the first degree terms, first degree terms from the equation. First degree terms means all the variables which are having power as 1, degree is 1. From the equation 4x square plus 9y square minus 8x plus 36 by plus 4 equal to 0. So we have to shift the origin from 0, 0 to another point h comma k such that after the shifting the transformed equation will not have any x terms and y terms that is what we have been given so we have to find out h comma k value what we will do we will write down x is equal to x dash plus h and we will write down y equal to y dash plus k because we know that this equation will be transformed it will be in the form of x dash and y dash so i'll write down what is the equation given to me 4x square plus 9y square minus 8x plus 36y plus 4 equal to 0. Now this equation is this equation origin this origin is shifted from 0 0 to another point h comma k then the transformed equation will be nothing but 4 into x dash plus h whole square plus 9 into y dash plus k whole square minus 8 into x dash plus h plus 36 into y dash plus k plus 4 equal to 0. Let's open this up. We have 4 into x dash square plus 2x dash h or can I say 2h x dash 2h x dash plus h square plus 9 into y dash square plus 2k y dash plus k square minus 8x dash minus 8h plus 36y dash plus 36k plus 4 equal to 0. We will write down next step. 4 into x dash square, 4x dash square, so once we have written, maybe I have missed the recording a bit, I just want to explain you what I have missed explaining, so I have expanded this, after that we have been told that we have to remove the first degree terms, so we have combined the first degree terms that is one is x dash another is y dash now these two terms should become zero that will happen only when h equal to 1 and k plus 2 equal to 0 that means h equal to 1 and k equal to minus 2 so let me repeat that again we have converted x as we have taken x is x dash plus h and y equal to y dash plus k we have taken the given equation original equation and now transformed equation is this and we have been told that in that there are no x and y terms x dash y dash terms are not there that means the quotient of x dash and y dash should be each of them should be equal to zero so that gives me h equal to one and k equal to minus two that means the origin needs to be shifted to one comma minus two then the first degree terms will not be there in the equation in the transformed equation so that's briefly about translation of axis in the next session we will see about rotation of axis so we'll, we'll just remember before we sign off about this particular point that if a particular point coordinates are x comma y in coordinate system where the origin is 0 comma 0 and if the origin is shifted to another point h comma k and with respect to that if x dash y dash are the coordinates of the same point earlier it was x comma y then x comma y x dash y dash are related to each other by x equal to x dash plus h and y equal to y dash plus k Re leveraging this and concept we did some simple examples 
So I'll catch you once again in the next session with rotation of axis. Till then, keep smiling and sharing.